This video shows how to import markers into WP Google Maps Pro add-on from a variety of different sources. Please head to Maps Advanced to get started. You can download example files on our Importer Demo page by searching wpgmaps.com and Import Demo or by directly visiting wpgmaps.com slash demo slash marker hyphen importer hyphen demo. We'll download the example CSV for this tutorial. This video covers imports using the WP Google Maps Pro add-on version 7 and above. The Legacy Pro 6 importer supports CSV imports only through the Market Data tab. The format for CSV imports is the same across all versions. WP Google Maps Pro add-on version 7 supports uploading from a local file or importing remote data via a URL. We natively support CSV, KML and JSON. You can see examples on the aforementioned demo page along with downloadable files which you can use to work from. We also support the widely used GPX file format, which is used by many location tracking apps. You can use our GPX importer to import polylines of your recorded journeys. Pro 8 adds support for importing from JPEG images and third-party sources. We currently support advanced custom fields and toolset. Pro 7 and above support scheduled imports, which you can use to automatically run imports at a frequency of your choice. You can use this to connect to changing and external data. To import CSV, KML or JSON, please go to Maps Advanced. If you're importing from a URL, paste the URL into the field below. If you are importing from file, please click the File radio button, click Select File and then choose your file. Let's upload the example file we downloaded earlier. Select the file and click Import. On the following screen, you are presented with several options which control how the import should be applied to your database. If the file you're importing does not have any latitude or longitude coordinate data, then you will need to choose Find addresses or latitude and longitude when missing. This option can also be used for imports that do have coordinate data, where you'd like to find the street address and for that to be filled out in the address field. The default behavior when importing is to create a new map for your data. If you wish for the plugin to respect the specified map IDs, please select Use Map IDs specified in the file. If you wish to apply the import to an existing map, please click Apply Import Data To and pick the maps you would like to target in the panel below. If you wish to delete the file after the import, you can click the relevant settings shown here. Click Import to run the import, or Schedule to set up a scheduled import. Once the import is run, you will see a message notifying you that the import was successful. If there are any problems with your import, you will either see a message stating why the importer couldn't load your file, or warnings showing which rows the importer failed to import, for instance, if an address could not be geocoded. Let's go and take a look at the markers we've just imported. If you do experience any issues when trying to import your file, please feel free to reach out to our support team at wpgmaps.com where we would be happy to help. WP Google Maps Pro add-on version 7 and above supports scheduled imports. Scheduled imports allow you to set up your import to run periodically. To set up a scheduled import, follow the same steps for setting up a standard import, then click Schedule at the last step. You will be presented with scheduling settings from here. Pick a start date and an interval, then click Schedule to add the schedule. 
The scheduling system uses WordPress's built-in transient system to manage schedules, which means that WordPress itself handles the available intervals. If you do require an interval which is not available to you in this dropdown, you'll need to use a third-party transient or cron plugin to manage the available intervals. We will now add a daily scheduled import starting from today. Scheduled imports must target an existing map or use map IDs specified in the file. This helps to avoid large amounts of duplicated data building up in your database. Once you've set up your schedule, you can go to Maps, Advanced, Schedule to manage your schedules. From here you can edit the schedule, delete the schedule, view the import log from the last run, and for scheduled imports that use URL, you can view the response your server received from the remote URL. This can be useful for debugging issues, for instance, diagnosing when your sharing settings are incorrect when importing a Google Sheet. Please note that when running large imports with thousands or more markers, using the Google Maps engine and using find address or latitude and longitude when missing, the plugin can potentially issue a large volume of Google API geocode requests. We recommend that you review Google's pricing structure for geocoding before running large volume imports in order to avoid unwanted charges. If you do need any further assistance, please visit wpgmaps.com for documentation or feel free to contact our friendly support team on our forums or by opening a ticket on the contact page. The team would like to thank you very much for choosing WP Google Maps.